This is question 10 from paper 3-2 from the 2020 summer exams from Cambridge International. Up the top right of the screen you'll find a card that will bring you to the, my playlist as all my solutions for the questions in this paper. And beneath the video you'll find a link to an image of this question so you can try it before looking at my solution. In this question we're going to have to use vectors to find points and angles and find vector equations of line. Basically we're going to be manipulating vectors a lot and that can be quite difficult I wouldn't say it's difficult in the hardness level. It's difficult for two reasons. Students um, have trouble learning vectors at the start because it's diff quite different from other things. But also there's lots of numbers and lots of ways to make mistakes. And mistakes are made in these questions. And it's a shame. Students lose so many marks. First thing I'm going to do, this is the vectors they gave us. OA is equal 6i plus 2j. OB is 2i plus 2j plus 3k. I'm going to write them a little different. Uh, just to save myself a bit of writing. So that's going to be 620, 6i, 2j, 0k. It means the same thing. Uh, and this one will be 223. Just quick, a little easier to write. 223. And we're going to be writing a lot of vectors in this question. Now let's try and draw this question because they give us, um, well, they give us two points, a and b, and the vectors to those points. But we start, we always have 0, 0. Now, this is in three dimensions, so it's hard to draw. But because they only give us three points, it means I can just draw it on a two-dimensional plane here on a board. Let's see, that's O, A, and B. Your drawing can look very different, it doesn't matter. Uh, think of these points in space, and you're moving yourself to look at it. So it could look, I might look at it this way, you might look at it from the other side. could look very different. We should still get the same answer. And they give us more points. We have M. But thankfully, M is on OA. It's halfway along it here. Uh, M is halfway along OA. And they give us N. And students make mistakes here as well. They tell us that AN is equal to 2 times NB. My drawing probably doesn't look the best. But basically what I mean there is um, this is 2 and this is 1. Or it's 2 thirds of the way along. And we're going to use that information. Um, AN is basically two thirds of AB. So that's what we have. And the first question then, let's see what they're asking us, is find a vector equation for the line through MN. Let me uh, draw that line in here. So they want the vector equation for that line. Just to remind you what that means. We need, this, <coughs> we need an equation, we need a, um, yeah, an equation that will get us to any point on this line. So we usually call this OR. And it's quite easy in vectors. This is one of the main reasons we use vectors. It's quite easy to get any point on a line. It's, all we need to do is get from zero to the line. So we need a vector that gets, actually let me use the letters here, a vector that gets me to the line. OM would be okay, or ON. Either is fine, we're gonna use OM in this question. But you could also have the vector ON here, that would work perfectly okay. Or you could have the vector O something else, we don't have any on the picture though. And then once we're on the line, all we need to do is move along it. So you need a vector that's on this line, MN is what we're going to use. Again, any vector. Actually, I think we're going to use a tree MN. So not this vector, we're going to use this vector. But really, any vector on the line, MN would work. N, M would work, any vector. And then we're going to multiply that by um, a scalar. And we usually use the, the symbol lambda. Don't worry, you can use A, B, C, X, Y. I wouldn't use X and Y probably, but um, you can use any letter you want and it will work fine. And that's, that's what we're looking for. So what do we need? We need a vector that gets us to the line. That should be easy to find. O, M should be easy. And then we need a vector on the line. So I need M, N. So, um, I'll do the work down here, but let me write it up here. I need OM and I need MN are the two things I need. Uh, OM, I think I can just write. OM is half of OA. It's half of this one. It's 3, 1, and 0. Okay, we're done on that. Now I need MN. This is a more difficult one. M to N. Let me write out my thoughts there. M to N. All we need to do is start at M and end at N. So how about just MA 
plus AN. That's all we need. And then MA is half of OA. Half of OA. So that one we have already. And AN. AN is two thirds of AB. AB. So that's all we need. Which really means we have this. We just need AB now. I've, re I've reduced the question down to needing AB. So let's get to work doing that. AB, let's see if we, let's do it like this. AB is, we start at A, maybe we go to, um, <laughs> I started the wrong point there, didn't I? We start at A, and maybe we go to O, and then we go to B, plus O to B. That'll get us from A to B, and uh, we understand a lot of this. This is minus OA, and this is OB. We understand what it is. And uh, so it's just, oh, let me write that again. It's OB minus OA. Now, I know you should use this every, every time you do vectors, you should be using AB is equal this. So most students just skip straight to that. That's fine. Uh, so AB, um, oh, I, I better write it over here separately. So, because I, I didn't leave room for it up here. AB then is equal to this minus this, which is minus four. Uh, 0 and 3, 2 minus 6, 2 minus 2, 3 minus 0, and then AB, uh, sorry, MN is equal, did we write that anywhere? No, oh, here it is, M MN is equal to a half OA, oh, I better do that work down here before I put the answer up, so, uh, so I need half OA, let me write this again, MN is equal a half of this guy, 3, 1, 0, plus two thirds of this guy. Oh, that's, um, well, let me, let me leave the two thirds out because I'll run out of room. Two thirds of this guy, which is minus eight over three, zero, and two thirds of three is two. Uh, let's add this together and we'll, we'll put it up here. Well, we write it twice. Add this together, let's see, nine thirds, a tree is just nine thirds, Minus eight thirds is one third. One plus zero is one, and zero plus two is two. Let's put that in here. A third, one, and two. I'll rub this out then, because I need the room for other things. Because I want to keep this, and I want to keep that over there. Right, so all, the work we did here was just we needed to find the vectors here. You might have done a little different work. You could have found ON, maybe. And once you had ON and OM, you could have found MN, that would have worked fine. It would have been better. No, I think you still would have need AB at some stage. AB would have had to be found. All right, I think uh, that, let's just start this. Let me rub this out and we'll start on the next part. Now the good news is to do the, to do the actual question, find the vector equation, it's very easy. It's very short and very easy once you've done this work. So the start of most vector questions, you're probably gonna have to do work like this. You see a picture, you're probably gonna have to get a lot of the vectors. It helps if you think ahead which vectors you need, so you don't do more work than you need. But we need some of the vectors. Right, let me talk through this one again. Or uh, a vector to the line mn is equal to, um, I, need a, I need a vector to go from 0 to the line. So I'll pick om, which I have up here. So that's 3, 1, 0. And then plus, I just need any vector that's on this line. So I, uh, I have the MN here, and I just don't want to use fractions. I just don't like fractions. So I'm going to just multiply this by 3. That's, I knew this already. I'd done this already. So if I multiply this guy by 3, you, you can go ahead and use this. Or you could use minus this. Or you can use 2 times this, or 4 times this. Any of those vectors will work. You'll just get different numbers for lambda at the end to get different points. So let, let me explain how this works then, just in case you don't believe me. Um, if you want to get to the point here, this point, let's see what we do. We go O to M, and then I would go minus one third. I put a minus one third in here, because M3N M M goes down here, down to this point. So minus one third of that would get me here. Minus one of it would get me here, um, one third, uh, it's lambda, this number I'm changing every time, by the way. One third of lambda would get me to here. Maybe a half of lambda would get me to here. 
Um, one sixth of lambda would get me here. Ten of lambda would get me long way off the screen. Well, not too far, but outside the wall of my room anyway. Um, whatever number you put in for lambda, and there's infinite numbers, you'll get everywhere on this line. There's nowhere on this line you cannot get to simply by changing the number of lambda. So that's the, the vector equation of a line. That's the answer there. And um, you can have different vectors here. You can actually have different numbers here. So it's, a, it's an awkward question for a teacher to correct, in fact. But this, I assume this is the most common number to have here. And this vector or this vector probably will be here. Okay, we're, we'll keep this because we're going to use this for part B. Find the position vector of P. And they tell us P is OB, the line that goes through OB, this line that goes through here, and this line. They intersect at a certain point, P. So they want us to find that. Um, you know what, let's keep this and use the vector equation. We've, we have a vector equation for this line. Let's get, the, let's get another vector equation. I'll call it S. doesn't really matter. This is for the line OB. So I need to go from 0 to somewhere on the line. Well, 0 is already on the line. So I could go 0, 0, 0. You don't have to write that in. And then I just need to pick another letter, anything. We tend to use... Um, phi, I think this is. <laughs> I'd probably make a mistake there, but any letter would be fine. And we need a vector that's on this line. Well, OB. OB is on it. So here we go. 2, 2, and 3. And we can clean that up because 0... Actually, no, I'll just rub the 0 out. doesn't do anything for me. That's a vector equation of this. Vector equation of this. Just like in coordinate geometry, the two equations will equal each other. At this point. Let me clean this one up. This is 3 plus lambda. This is one, uh, 3 plus lambda, 1 plus 3 lambda, and 6 lambda. Because I can add vectors together, of course. And this vector down here is 2 phi, um, no, it's not phi, is it? Mu, I think. I think it's called mu now that I think about it. 2 mu, um, 3 mu. That's that vector. So I simply put these equal to each other. Uh, you know what, let me rub this out. This is redundant. We have it here. So if I put these equal to each other, I will get three equations. I'll get three plus lambda is equal to two, um, I are mu, two mu. Uh, one plus three lambda is equal to two mu. And uh, six lambda is equal to three mu. There's two unknowns and there's three equations. So we have more than enough information. Students make mistakes here because they have too much information. Two, two mu equals two mu. So this must equal this. That would be one way. This line here, I think, is probably the easiest. Divide everything by three. I would get two lambda is equal to mu. Well, if two lambda equals mu, let's stop writing mu. Pick any of the other lines you want, either of these. Let's pick the first one. Three plus lambda must equal, instead of two mu, must be 4 lambda, because mu is equal to 2 lambda. All right, let's uh, move the lambdas around. We will get 3 lambda is equal to 3, so lambda equals 1. And that, that's it. I actually don't need to find mu then, because all I need to find is the point. So now that I know lambda equals 1, I can just put lambda equals to 1 and find the vector. But if you wanted, uh, mu must equal 2, so... Or I can put 2 in here and find the, the vector. P... Um, Let's, yeah, let's, I'll, put it, yeah, I'll put it in over here. OP, OP is simply equal, again, I put 1 in here, or I can put 2 in there. This one looks easier to do. So it's 4, 4, 6. That's it, 4, 4, 6. That's the, um, the vector, the position vector of P. It's 4, 4, 6. And that's part B. That's finished. Uh, I think I need a little more room to do part C. So let me just rub this out and then we'll talk through part C. Right, part C, they ask us to calculate the angle OPM. So that's this angle in here. And I have two vectors, um, OB and MN. Well, let me say that again. You'd probably want the vector PO and PM. Because once you have vectors that, uh, that make this, you can get the dot product and find the angle. 
So I don't quite have the correct vectors for that. But here's what I do have. I have mn. This is, sorry, let me write them in. m and n. And I have ob. ob. Remember, vectors can be moved around. Let's just move mn down here. And we find this angle. This angle here, uh, where, where is OB? OB is here. So we want this angle, but if I find this angle, have a look at this, these are parallel. This is the same angle as this, that's just a bit of geometry. Now if you want, you can go ahead and find P and O, and P and M. You have all the vectors you need, you have OP. Well, so yeah, you have PO already. Um, PM, you should be able to find, you have OM and OP, that's fine, but you don't need to. We can go ahead and use MN, which is right here, and we can use OB, which is right here. That'll give us the exact same angle as this. So let me write the rule, uh, the dot product is, uh, let me rub this out actually, because I might need a little more room. The dot product of OB dot MN is equal to the length, OB multiplied by the length, MN, I might as well keep these arrows going while I'm here, uh, multiplied by cosine of the angle between them. Or I can rearrange this, uh, let me, yeah, let me write it here, rearrange this as theta is equal to, uh, I have to move everything over, OB dot MN, I'll, I'll save myself the arrows this time, divided by OB MN, that's the, the lengths, and all of that's in a inverse cosine. So that's all I need. I need to find the dot product. So let's do all of that. How, am I gonna have room? No, let me rub this out and we'll do it all here. You can see why students would make mistakes in this. It's very long. So the three things we need is OB.MN. We'll have to do that some. And um, then we'll need the length of OB. We'll need to do that. And we'll need the length of MN. We need to do that. It's all short enough, but we're going to need to do all. Dot product first, OB and MN. Dot product is first times the first, plus second times the second, third times the third. So that's equal to two thirds plus two plus six. See where I got that? Two times a third, two times one, three times two. And uh, this is, what's this? That's eight. Um, eight in, um, in a fraction of over a third would be 24 over three plus two over three, which is 26 over three. Let's see, OB is two squared plus two squared plus three squared, or four plus four plus nine, all square root, which is a square root of 17. And MN is a one over nine, one third squared, plus one squared, plus two squared, square root of all that, that's five, uh, 5 is the same as 45 over 9, which is 46 over 9. Uh, use a calculator for this. I, I'm not making a mistake because I've done the work on, already on a piece of paper. And if I make a mistake, I can just re-record re it. So you should, uh, in an exam, you can't do that. So check on the calculator all these. Right, so that's uh, everything I need. I can just put all that into this, into a calculator. Cosine minus 1 of... 26 over 3 divided by square root of 17 multiplied by the square root of 46 over 9. Or uh, square root of 9 is 3, so then, yeah, that, that cancel that 3. You don't need to do that. Calculator will do all this work for you. Let me just uh, check the answer I've got already. You will get, do they ask in decimal place? In degrees, um, 21.6 uh, degrees. So that is the angle between these two vectors, which is the same as the angle over here. And that's, uh, that's it, that's the full marks. If you have any questions, which understandable if you do, it's a long and hard question, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. That's the last question in this paper. If you want to see any other questions in it, there should be a playlist somewhere appearing on the screen soon. Or um, subscribe to my channel for any other papers and put a comment asking, can you do this paper from some college engineering class? Something like that. I'm, I'm happy to try other, other papers that uh, people request. Thanks for watching and have a great day.